Criss Cross was an American hip-hop duo that consisted of Criss Mac Daddy, Kelly and Criss Daddy Mac, Smith. Criss Cross was the youngest hip-hop duo to gain success, with gold and platinum albums at 12 and 13 years old. The duo was discovered by Jermaine Dupri in 1991 and hit worldwide status the following year with their smash hit debut single, Jump, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 for eight weeks and was certified double platinum as a single. They went on to release three studio albums, with their debut album Totally Crossed Out topping the US Billboard 200, and their following albums, Da Bomb and Young, Rich and Dangerous making it into the top 20. The duo were also noted for their signature fashion style of wearing their clothes backwards. Chris Kelly died of a drug overdose in May 2013. They have been referenced on the albums or songs of Eminem, Dr. Dre, Tupac, Method Man, and many more. History The Friendship of Atlanta Natives James Christopher Kelly, August 11, 1978 to May 1, 2013, and Christopher Smith, born January 10, 1979, began in first grade. The duo was discovered at Greenbrier Mall in Atlanta in 1991 by then 19-year-old Jermaine Dupri. Totally crossed out, 1992 along with Dupri, the two signed a deal with Rough House Records and recorded their debut album Totally Crossed Out, 1992. Entirely produced by Dupri, Totally Crossed Out was released March 31st that year and sold 4 million copies in the US it included the hit single, Jump, which became the first rap song to top the Billboard Hot 100 for 8 weeks. The music videos from the album also experienced major success. The video for, Jump, directed by filmmaker Rich Murray, went to number one on MTV and sold over 100,000 copies as a VHS video single. The video for their follow-up single, Warm It Up, also directed by Murray, won a Billboard Video Award for, Best New Artist, and got to number 14 the same year as, Jump. Writes the New York Daily News' Jim Farber, Together, that was enough to propel the duo's debut album, Totally Crossed Out, to multi-platinum status. Michael Jackson Tour and Additional Media Projects, 1992 to 1998, the duo landed a spot on Michael Jackson's 1992 European Dangerous World Tour as well as a cameo appearance on Jackson's music video for his 1992 single, Jam. Additionally, they made appearances in the music videos for Run DMC's, Down with the King, 1993, and TLC's, Hat 2 Da Back, 1992, and they were featured in an episode of A Different World and is the closing musical act on the May 29, 1992 episode of In Living Color. A video game starring the pair, titled Criss Cross, Make My Video, was released in 1992 on the Sega CD system. It consisted of the players editing together the group's music videos for a few of their hit songs, using portions of the original music videos, stock footage, and general video animation effects. Players were prompted before each editing session to make sure to have certain footage compiled into the video. The game was released only in the United States to poor sales figures and dismal reviews. It was ranked 18th on Electronic Gaming Monthly's list of the 20 worst games of all time. Chris Cross made a cameo appearance in Ted Dem's film Who's the Man? 1993, which starred rapper Ed Lover and radio personality Dr. Dre of Yo! MTV Raps fame. Chris Cross were also part of the promotional campaign for Sprite in 1993 of which they recorded an exclusive rap, a promotional photoshoot and commercial for the brand. Da Bomb, 1993, the duo's second album, Da Bomb, 1993, was certified platinum and spawned the hits, All Right, featuring Super Cat, I'm Real, and Da Bomb, featuring Da Brat, whom Smith had discovered. Most of their songs had been directed at rivals Da Youngsters, Illegal, and Another Bad Creation. Young, Rich and Dangerous, 1996, a third album, Young, Rich and Dangerous, was released in early 1996 and was certified gold. It spawned the two hits, Tonight's Denight, and, Live and Die for Hip Hop. Education Both members of Criss Cross went to Woodward Academy in College Park, Georgia. Kelly studied mix engineering, and founded C Connection Records. Smith studied marketing and business management and founded One Life Entertainment, Inc. Final show Criss Cross last performance was in their hometown at the Fox Theater for Sosa Def's 20th anniversary concert in 2013. Death of Chris Kelly on April 29, 2013. Chris Kelly was found unconscious in his Atlanta home and taken to the hospital. Two days later, on May 1, he was pronounced dead around 5 p.m. on the south campus of the Atlanta Medical Center. He was 34 years old. According to the police report documents, Kelly had been brought home to recover from his drug use, as he had done several times in the past. His uncle told police that Kelly had an extensive history of drug abuse.
The following day, Dupree tweeted a letter to fans, in which he referred to Kelly as a son that I never had, and praised Kelly as an artist. Numerous other artists and fans publicly acknowledged Kelly's death, some citing Criss Cross or Kelly as their inspiration or their reason for entering the music industry. On July 1, a toxicology report was released stating that Kelly died from a drug overdose. According to the Fulton County Medical Examiner Office, the toxicology screening showed that Kelly had a mixture of drugs in his system, including heroin and cocaine. Kelly is buried at the Westview Cemetery in Atlanta. Discography Studio Albums Remix Albums Compilation Albums Singles References External Links Billboard Magazine, Criss Cross Chris, Mac Daddy, Kelly at Find a Grave.